We're gonna learn how to use a terminal on a Mac. Uh, if you heard of uh, Linux, Unix, that's basically what we're gonna learn. The commands, how to run them on your MacBooks. Uh, I think many of you don't realize that, you know, how powerful this Mac computer that you are using. Um, so it's gonna be very casual. If you guys gonna miss something, just roll back uh, to the point where, you know, you miss and you can just repeat the commands. All right, so let's find our terminal first. Uh, so we have this uh, search bar. Let's click on the search bar and type terminal. Um, you know, the following uh, window will pop up. Uh, for you, most likely, if you never run it before, it will be a um, white background. Uh, it's the same thing, it's just uh, you, I changed the fonts on mine where I changed it to the black one. Um, I, I'm sure you can look up online how to change it to the same font as mine. Maybe we'll cover it in one of my videos as well. Now I just zoom, zoomed on my terminal and we're gonna run some commands. All right, so the first most important command we wanna know is called PWD. Basically what it tells you, it tells you where you're at right now. It's basically to say, hey, where am I right now? Like, you know, Google Maps when you say, hey, my location. That's basically what it returns. So, mine is, you see, you know, users, Zakir. Uh, on every computer, there's folder users first. So let's say if your computer has only one user, most likely you'll, you'll have only users and then your name. If your computer is, has multi-users, you might have more users. Uh, let's see how many. Yeah, I have only one user. Uh, as you can see, I run this other command called ls. ls means list. It means list what you have currently. Uh, so when I did ls users, I say list everything under this folder called users. Um, when you just write ls with no arguments, uh, it will show you all the directories and files that you have in your current directory. And how to find the location of current directory? Type pwd. Okay. So let's learn another command because uh, we would like to do our work uh, not in this directory, but in our document folder. Um, you know, like, give, let's say in your Windows or Mac computer, maybe you get used to when you like click on a folder and you go inside that folder. Uh, to do that in the terminal, what you can do is to write this command called cd and then the, the location of your folder. So we want to work in this folder called documents. There you go. Um, oh, and uh, I don't know if you notice when I type something and then you see it quickly completes. Uh, in order to do this autocomplete, you can just press tab. So instead of typing uh, the full directory like this. Uh, I could have just uh, done something like document tab, tab, and then, you know, goes in there. So after you uh, execute the CD documents, you will be in the documents folder. So let's see what's, uh, oh, let's see, let's, let's learn this new command um, called, let's make a new directory where we're going to work. Um, so in order to create a new folder, we can just type mkdir, which is short for make directory. Uh, now we'll, let's say we create our new directory called lesson one, right? Okay, so now let's go into the lesson one directory. Okay, so now let's, um, let me ask you this question. How do we find out where we are right now? Um, the full path. Uh, I mean, you, of course, you can clearly see that uh, from where we started, like we have a trace. Um, basically, this tilde in the beginning is our home directory. Uh, then we got into documents and then we created this folder called lessons. But if you want to see the full path right away, what we can do, we can type this command called pwd. Okay. So let's see what we have in our, uh, as I said, you remember the the tilde is equal to our home directory. Basically users, uh, and then our username is our home directory. That's what equates this tilde. Um, okay, so let's see what we have inside of our lessons directory. Lesson directory, there you go. Unless nothing got returned, so we have nothing here. 
Okay, let's go, lo go over what we learned so far. Hmm. We learned this command called mkdir. Uh, it stands for make directory. So let's say we create this new directory called, called examples. Uh, the second command we learn uh, is ls to see what uh, to list the content of a directory. There you go. We have a couple of directories we created here. Uh, some of them, like in this file and this directory I created earlier. Um, then the other command that we have is uh, pwt is to save to list the full path of the directory that we add. Okay. So for now, we just stop here and let's go to the next lesson.